kunya bala ka demu kampala ku bat balisieta bana kampala che whatsapp tu chikoseko ka menu ka funya buffet eh chivulu aka japuni africalent abali na talent des bayi family gata kwa moti mbalanguzi leda ka chapizo chesi nantube fedi ya mawaji oro no gata ko ka dongo ka mumase swalu kaga hasani nduga chibijigiri kaswe kapo sebare matiaru ima hari ya tsanyu nabitaka jaki kizito nadi buyon oro no ga manta ko sika japuni pro max aka japuni i15 santa deru mu ista sande bi na ista mande bi kubat vale fiesta ye pe mtwaru kumi odi ale mitwale na kacha ka japuni kama ya kala kubat vale fiesta na gori rutawa biwangidwa chaba safama bbs telefina movit products hardware world luba properties delta tv tukole the light media horo na chikege chebwa tiba ya pro ne baru ya promotions <laughs> your said bebe cool needs to stop making showbiz statements yeah and begins making constructive for the future of the people in the mm. industry does that uh, there are people who are meeting people in government uh -huh. do you think it's productive from what know, you've heard as, 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 as soon as you go down on your knees i, I don't want to I, i don't want to know about it i don't want to know about it you know what i mean because you're there representing something bigger than yourself you can't be there just to oh, 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 oh. there comes a point where of course you're thinking about your own family etc mm. but there comes a point where it's in your best interest to think about the whole the whole industry yeah i could have done countless projects for myself i could have been in politics i've been offered things mm. that i could have done just for myself but that wouldn't be the best thing for the greater good um so i think there comes a point where we just need to so i believe these people who are talking to people in government they are chasing after biawe their own uh, yeah some of them definitely and mm. there are, there are some who are definitely chasing for the rest of us but it makes it very difficult mm. when you've just gone in and given what we should do and then someone else comes in and says oh i think if you just pay pay the top 10 artists this much and mm. we'll be okay mm. silence the big ones and you're okay mm. so what happens to the rest yeah so you think about only yourselves yeah. not the bring out gone do you know how many sons and daughters of artists are going to be artists what are you setting up for the future of them mm. You know. And you don't like people kneeling down. I mean, I'm, I'm from Fumbe. We're mm. the only clan that's not allowed to actually fukamida. Mm. We're not supposed to prostrate ourselves. Fumbe clan and I don't know hey, the other. Hey, clan does not we kneel show, before the kabaka. We show we show shield and spear. Mm. We can choose to. Mm. We, me I me I would I would bow. Uh, we can choose to, uh, but traditionally it's not done. So by the time by the time the people of the kabaka are telling me which other man am i kneeling down to katwa julie fresh chat bakofuru mukore byo kunye byabuli chika umuli juice nebika bya juice byo nabye waliyo wuli deko tayo wabuli chika ku mikolo basana fruits and so mulembe hatinga nyonjo akole juice ali musimoko bakole chifana nyo mugole mubiba na chita banga wo abana na chibata sobola bakola ku buli chika cha mukolo umuli introduction to kwanjula imbaga baby shower birthday okuchala ukubatisa bakola ne delivery bo wawe taze bakola ice cream wo wabuli chika strawberry vanilla banana bafune ku instagram ku fresh chat at four ku facebook fresh chat kuwa ku simu zero msambu zero emu nye 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 msambu msambu zero oba zero msambu nana bili emu kaga tano tano munana bili enu yu fresh chat fresh at its best So today we are with uh, Navio. We are going to be talking Navio. Yes. It's going to be one of those interviews you don't see every day. Nekati mm ateche -hmm. njawo lichiriwo. Era you know the levels are different. Hey. Now, you look where we are. Oh, about soko wala geje tuli. Splenda. As you can see, things are at a different level. Yes. So today this is where we are going to be. Uh, I want us to check out one of those rooms now. Uh me I only do the penthouse when I'm here, but uh, there's, which, which, there's a penthouse here. There are all of those actually. Shush, shush, shush. Not very but it's a African minimalist, Moroccan, my favorite on the corner. Oh, 
Really? So, so, so you, you, so you come here around? You come around? Yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah, once in a while. Yeah, no, but I've, but I've met you here like. What, this is the first time? Yeah, yeah. So we, we are meeting here. Yes. Which means now you know where Kasuku is when he tells you he's with us. Yeah? yeah. Not with us, us, a yeah. man. Uh -huh. With the people. Ah, but this room is mad. This is a penthouse. Oh, yes. so penthouse to take his uh, yeah, Top floor, usually double floor inside. Oh, five bedroom. Open. Oh, so it, uh, it has everything. Yeah, like, five bedrooms inside the room. Inside, inside the car room, eh? uh -huh. it's five bedrooms yeah. and then the sitting room. Yeah, uh -huh. so oh. if you have family, you know. Oh, they have penthouses here. Yeah, yeah. They even allowed me once, but they never allow anyone again. I set up a studio last time. Oh, yeah. and I recorded my album Vibes Out the East from here. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, we are at Kabira Country Club uh -huh. uh, in Bukoto. Uh -huh. It's the difference. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> let's sit down with. Uh, Navio, uh -huh. and we begin this interview in real time. Ndiwano Buambo Banda, just like two kilometers from YMCA University. We tuliwano, inole taka buli jori embaga ambako. Se full eka here. Plot ziri muna na buli plot ya milioni asatu. Wano. Chino, che chapa eno yegundi ya wano. Sketch. Bweti wefana na. Zino read the titles, zino photocopy ndo ozo ziraba. Negundi yako yino, gweka stojia, tukuwela o. These are read the titles. Tewali wachi orusa sura, transfer forms zine chapa, ne IDs afengo gena nabiyo. Neba hudu no ozo ziraba, ntupata andiso kuzimba. Enaba esimu weli wansao, tukubi leko, tukole site visit, tulaebo solo kubango sasura. Tekuli kwa kufela, tekuli kochi. Ebi hapa bibi no. Nzembi kute. Orusa sura voti no malayo. Kwata. Welcome to yet another edition of Kasuku Live. Um, Kasuku Kuku was a banger. Uh -huh. That's me. I'm with uh, Navio. Yes, sir. Lubwama. Mm -hmm. Daniel Chigozi. Yes, sir. Lubwama. Yes, sir. Lubwama is also okay. Uh, okay. You uh, use, uh, use Daniel Chigozi. Yeah, Chigozi is my father's name. Uh -huh. Yeah, but uh, he passed away when I was 10. Yeah. So I, I felt like keeping the name alive yeah. more. Um, but yeah, Luwama is my name. Oh. Yeah, Daniel Luwama. <laughs> Luwama Daniel. Uh, oh, you kira omchara go to asanga ko ko Friday. Mama won omu you kira. We are with your mama at Iron uh, Bank. Uh -huh. That succession planning conference. Yes. The breakfast. So yeah. as she was going to do an interview, I said there. I said, Kasuku, you're stubborn. Yeah. <laughs> I see you on TikTok. <laughs> so I was like. Ah! <laughs> She's she, huh. your mom's on TikTok. She's, she follows your shows, all of them. One, mm. she knows what every celeb is going through. Mm. She's the one who actually, when I need to know what's happening in industry, I call her. Oh, yeah, she know, she she's plugged into the industry. So she sees she sees people fighting each other. All of ah, uh, the squabbles, what? <laughs> people jumping over tables. You're not. And as, she and she the, enjoys it. She's uh, like, now uh, look uh, at uh, these people. She's like, oh my children, oh. Then she calls me and tells me, your friend was doing this, you see. So I have a full <laughs> report on what you did this year. <laughs> so, so, so sometimes you get a phone call, you're yeah. like, ah, now mommy is going to start again. She's like, oh, can you imagine? Mm. But she also, I mean, she keeps herself informed. So yeah. not only music industry, you mm. know, polit political, mm. uh, whether it's Uganda, Olympic sports, she was a, a sports person. So now she knows what's happening. It's sports, mm. tennis, boxing. Mm. Yeah, so she's, uh, she likes to know. Wow. He likes to know. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's nice having you here. Yes, please. Uh, there's some time I saw your mom saying, Where, when did you go to those lions? Where is that place? Uh, I've seen so many people posting about it. Yes, yes. It's a conservation, uh, CIC conservation um, conservatory. And uh, it is uh, there by, uh, where's the area? What's it called? It's like just Fort Butambala. Oh, it's far. Butambala. That's Butam okay, that's Gomba. Yeah. No, that is uh, Butambala is before Gomba. Uh -huh. Then you turn left. Then you go inside uh -huh. there. Yeah. So, so that's a real cab. 
Yeah. Like a young one. Yes. But do they have like the, the reliance? Yes. The, the other one you saw me on the floor, uh. the one which I was kneeling next to, that's a real lion. Mm. That's now. So yeah, they have the full size, they have the alpha, the yeah. Ah. It's a full operation there. They have oh, white lions, they have brown lions, white lions. I think oh. I need I, I need to drive there. What is I go there? Yeah, do it. With my it. family, we go and we see those lions. Mm, the cub, eh? The cub, the paw is already like mm. double. It's, like you're holding it, it's like half your size. It's mm. amazing, amazing. But they powerful. don't they, they don't attack. Uh, they can if you are, if you are foolish or if you're scared. You can you have to compose yourself. Mm. If they if there's fear, it's almost like they can smell fear. Mm. So if they see someone, yeah, he's moving. They're already like, uh huh. Target this one we can eat. Uh huh. Ah. Yeah, he's so going to make a mistake. We saw your we, we saw your mom posting like, how did how did you go this way? And you know all those <laughs> things. Without permission. But I think that's how parents <laughs> did. Yeah. Anyway, um, I think two weeks ago, uh -huh. was it two weeks? Ago? Yeah, two weeks ago, mm -hmm. you had the launch of your EP. Yes, yes, yeah, a week ago. Yeah. Yeah, I had the launch of the album. I yeah. call it an album. Album. Yeah, it goes a bit beyond. So we had 11 songs on there. Mm. So I guess it falls into album. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's a cultural album. Mm. I, I finally got a chance to look into Ugandan culture. Because, mm. of course, you know, going, going to school outside South Africa, six years, Kenya, 10 years, mm. um, I always felt apart from the culture. You were in Kenya? Yeah. For 10 years? Ten years That's yeah. like your primary? Yeah. So yeah. you didn't go to any school here in Uganda? I did, Aga Khan. I was here at Aga Khan and then I did nursery as well also at Entebbe. You know, mm. it's a, I don't think it has a name. It's there behind the, the church, mm. behind the cathedral. Mm. Um, yeah. With the, then you, you, so you, Aga Khan was primary? Yeah. Then you left for Kenya? Uh, no, Aga Khan was high school. Oh. Yeah, yeah before, before A-levels. So I was here for a while and then I went for A-levels mm. and uh, I completed uh, university also in South Africa. In South Africa. Yeah. You were doing IT? No, I did the communications and media studies. Oh. International relations. Oh, so, I think I think the so I think politics, communications is the one that confuses me. Yes, yes. So I think politics would be a good a good way to go after. Uh, communication and media studies. Uh -huh. No, you could make a good media manager. Me, eh? Uh, you start an agency. I'm, I'm already, I'm already, <laughs> Navio is already a big enough client. But, <laughs> ah, so you are, you, keeps you, us busy. <laughs> you are, you are Navio's first client. It seems. <laughs> <laughs> You're being Bobby Wine and Chagula. Like hey, hey, basically. <laughs> uh huh. So, um, so, so this is, uh, you, you know, you had invited us yeah, huh. and we didn't come through. Yes. So we got some issues and. But we said we need to have listened to the album. Mm -hmm. um, there's that song, basically it's called he's Joy. A, he's a Shiba holic, so he left. He didn't want to come to my thing, mm. so he went Shiba first. <laughs> this, this man and Shiba, don't ask. Arimba. Oh, oh. So Crush. there's that. Uh, I've listened. I've listened to. I think Joy. It's called Joy. Yes, Joy. 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 Yeah. That one. That's from yes, Toro. From Toro. Yeah. So this whole. Fort I, I used, I used to see, um, I think it was on NBS every Saturday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Saturday, Sunday? Uh, Thursday, Thursday, 8 p.m. Was it? Yeah, yeah. We're right here. We, we are news prime, prime uh, time. Why do I feel like it was Saturday or Actually, Sunday? Actually, Sunday, yeah, they do a repeat on Sunday. You're right. Yeah. You're right. yeah. So they used to they, they used to show Navio X Project. Uh -huh. So I, uh, but I saw you were partnering with Uganda Tourism Board, was it? Uh, actually, we didn't have uh, any partners for the shoot itself. Mm. We wanted to keep it just Open. as Ugandans loving Uganda. Mm. So we didn't uh, have any partners on board for the first. Um, they did. They they were kind enough um, to let us use the hall for the for the uh, press conference. Mm. So yeah, that was actually to Uwa Uganda Wildlife. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but we're hoping to now start working with partners for season two. Mm. Uh, but first, we needed to get our vision of paper mm. into the world um, and yeah with NBS as well we thought it was just mm. the right decision just so, so so the the about the, the difference about this album uh -huh. is he toured Uganda uh -huh. yeah I saw you in Karamoja with the myth yes yeah. he toured Uganda <laughs> and he did 11 songs from 11 different regions yes each region name uh -huh. yeah? Sebei. Sebei, Karamoja, Karamoja. Toro. Buganda, Buganda, you redid the song, right? Uh, no, no, we didn't. We didn't do any this one in this season, but we're hoping to do it for season two. Yeah, mm. because the book is very long mm. for that tribe. <laughs> so, Plus, so, I needed to tell part of my own story. 
Okay. And there were some things happening this year that I'd want to include. Mm. So I decided, let's, you know, let's wait. We'll do the Waganda season mm. two. Mm. Yeah. So, so where do you pick the idea to say, let me go around Uganda? Yeah. You know, I, I, I sat down with my brother, Fred Chigozi. Mm. Um, and this is now when we had just released uh, the Pride album. So mm. now you're going back 2013. It's a 10 year idea. Yeah. 2013. Now, the problem is on that album, we had songs like One and Only, mm. we had Kata, Trouble. Mm. So, we were supposed to do it in that time frame, mm. but we didn't get a chance. And after that, it's just been hit after hit, concert after hon concert, mm. COVID after COVID. Mm. Um, so, we decided, hey, let's wait for the right time. But mm. this really felt like the right time, yeah. um, you know, to bring it out. And also, we, I think we were kind of surprised that no one had really done it like mm. this to this level, you know, taking the time and the care and uh, mm. to actually go about it. So, um, yeah, the idea came out from me and my brother, mm. yeah, Fred, uh, just sitting down and, mm. and, and saying, hey, we should do this. Was it very expensive for you? It, it wasn't cheap. Mm. <laughs> I'll tell you, it wasn't cheap, that's for sure. Mm. Mm. Uh, getting a whole crew, a camera crew, sound, lights, mm. then getting one of the best producers, Baru, Mm. To come along with sometimes with uh, one who's head of the record label now at uh, um, Abasa, mm. you know, who's in Swangs now. Um, he wasn't at the time, but yeah, it's getting all of those people to move in mm. a, in one car, some and mm. friends as well, constituents. Uh, yeah, mm. it was it, it took, was and really getting the permissions as well. Yeah. Getting permissions, making sure we're not offending anyone. Mm. Talking to the elders, you're coming into a village. Sometimes the village is away from a hospital. Away from, yeah. You don't want to offend people, you know, in, in, in a village somewhere, um, because you're at the mercy of the village. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So, but I always know how to move. I was, like I said, I was in, I was in South Africa for, more, you know, almost seven years. So, yeah. in terms of danger, I can quickly, yeah. you know, know. I know how to move. You know, yeah. you always have to be respectful. I think yeah. um, that's that's the number one lesson I got. Yeah. I think from this, whatever, you always have yeah. to be respectful and. You know, when you're in someone's territory, you just, yeah. you know. So, um, how was, how was, um, how was, uh, uh, how was it interacting with these different uh, tribes being in different regions? Were people yeah. welcoming? Yeah, I mean, most of them, yes. Uh, there's also a period where they don't know what you're doing. Yeah. And they're just looking. Uh -huh. I come there with my Kalong dreadlocks, you know, and... Uh, uh, you're there, you're asking them about the culture, you're asking them maybe about women, mm. that could be a, a, an offense. Hey, the women do this, do they do this? Hey, in my tribe, you're comparing. Mm. Um, but I think people could see from the get-go that I, was, I wasn't coming there as a threat. I really am interested in mm. you. You know, yeah. I'm interested in your culture. What are you mm. doing here? Yeah. Why is your food like this? Why mm. do you do this? Hey, for us, we do this. What? Mm. Uh, so every single tribe i think within like 15 minutes mm. even if it started badly you know you you would have picked up yes mm. yes with the Karam karamoja was longer mm. they want to see the full they want to see you fully so you come in they might let you in one or two games you know you first stand there 30 minutes they play their games hunting games what and then they tap you and say hey you try this one then you go in you do some dances with them there it was really Everyone's analyzing you and seeing what kind of a threat you are, you know, and, and that's a place you don't want to walk in with four security guys, you, mm. you know, <laughs> you want to be easy. Mm. Um, Karamoja was a bit tough. Eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. It can go left. It can go left. <laughs> they're, they're a warrior tribe, mm. you know, let's not get away from it. They are a proud warrior tribe as they should be. Mm. Um, so you don't want to go just uh, offending warriors mm. when you're seven hours in, in, in the, in the, in the, in the, in in the, the open in plains the, yeah. of Karamoja. Mm. Um, so yeah, we are very far away and, from and Karam, uh, Yeah, you were far from Moroto. Yeah. We you far. went deep. Yeah, because also um, the villagers move. So they have, a, a, there's a word I'm not going to try and pronounce, but sometimes they feel like ah, this soil, where this place has been done, you know, and the spirits aren't right. We up, up whatever the whole village, you take move. it somewhere else and we all move and then we set up in another place and it can be for another six months it can be for a year two years mm. um and then oh, so those guys still do things the real yeah original way oh yeah oh yeah absolutely we get up move it leaves that now land that you're using time for it to rebuild as well oh yeah and you move but is it very hot there 
Yeah, uh, now, that's another misconception, as we feel like it's hot all the time. So we purposefully went in the rainy season. Because someone was telling me, you know, you can catch those hills that you see, or in magazines, you can catch them green, covered in green, like Toro. I was like, nah, come on, stop it. They were like, bro, covered in green. So we went at a certain time, and it's there. It's there in the, in the, the, in the, that episode. the, the hills were green. Hills were rolling green, waterfalls coming off the, the, the tops of those rocks. Like in Karamoja? Yes. So we have we, we have a whole different perception of we that do, place. We do, and I think I think as soon as we get like a water harvesting plan, mm. because they have months, three months of the year where it's raining non-stop every day, like Kampara. Um, but they just need to find a way. It's impossible to harvest because once it hits the ground, it's just going to burn up, right? But mm. if they could find a way to harvest that water. But yeah, we have a misconception of mm. that over here. That mm. hey, it's just a dry desert. Mm. They, they, they have their three, four months of paradise. Mm. Yeah. So you're one of those people now who can talk about Uganda authoritatively. But finally. You've been to places. You went to uh -huh. Karamoja. Uh -huh. You went to Sebe. Yes. Sebe is this side. Yes. It's not anywhere near Karamoja, right? No, 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 no. Um, then you went to Ankole, the, the home of the the runners. Yes, Ankole. Mm. Uh, yeah, uh, Lake Bunyoni. That was beautiful. Mm. Um, yeah. So from all your travels, what is the most beautiful place you can say you've seen in Uganda? Ah, yeah, yeah. It's tricky, and my answer changes every day. You know, it was Toro the other day, Kawale the other day. Karamoja the other day. Mm. Um, I think one we also Butaleja. Butaleja. Yeah, you have. You can see. It's the only place I've been to where you can see. You know, thirty kilometers. It's just a field, and you can see up to the bushes thirty kilometers away. You know, mm. just literally on the horizon, and it's just flat. Not mm. one hill. We're from Kampala. Every hundred meters is a hill. That place is just flat in some places. It's un unbelievable, and that's why it makes it so easy for the rice fields mm. you know not easy but you know they get water from the mountain oh the water it. comes from the uh, mountains and yeah funnel it directly uh -huh. into the rice fields and those mm. rice fields just go on mm. you know, acres and acres 600 acres a thousand mm. acres here you know five square miles mm. rice a lot of rice and good mm. quality as well mm. yeah so what is that one place you would love to visit again from all that oh. I think one, first of all, Sebe I missed out on. I had to send flex because I was, I was sick. So uh, Sebe I want to do. But uh, Toro, man. Toro, Toro, I'd, I'd like to go there again. I uh, wanted to climb the mountain with uh, King Oyo himself. Mm. I wanted to get a chance to climb Ruanzori. It's a nine day trip, but I also got an injury at Nyege Nyege, uh, mm. my performance. Um, so I hurt my Achilles heel and it hasn't quite healed up. But when it, when it gets healed up, I want to go and mm. climb the mountain. Nine I, days. I, and I, you're coming I, with me. I should. Yes. It's, uh, it's one of those things. Yeah. There is a lady, she's called Hilda. Yeah. She's always, you know, going up. Uh -huh. she's, you see her status, she's conquered this Kapik, uh -huh. this Kapik, uh -huh. you know. And I think it's one of those things I think I should do this year. Why not? I should try. You Are know, you a good walker? Yeah. Hills? I walk. Yeah. Yes, I walk. I, I can walk like what, 15 kilometers in a day. Well, that's not bad. Yeah. That's not bad at all because here you're doing it at an angle. So yeah, they, they, my day, only worry is how steep those things yeah, are. Every they tell day, me there's a point where you get you don't walk, you just pull yeah, yourself yeah, up. Yeah. You know? So you, mo you go from moving, you know, five Fr kilometers mm. to like one kilometer in a day sometimes. Oh. Yeah, two or three kilometers in a day. And you're walking the whole time, you're moving. But, but you, it's like this, mm. and the wind and the oxygen gets lower and lower. So you can do like two kilometers, three kilometers a day, like this. Mm. I, 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 it's it's one of those things that they've interested me with. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. That I feel that now that I have the time, uh -huh. I should try out. And the money. Hey. No, I don't have hey. the money. <laughs> have you seen the, the car he hides? There's one car he hides. I'm asking Mr. Jenkins to hide to find it for us, and we show we show the people. <laughs> He's left us. <laughs> no. He has left us, people. <laughs> no, he's kidding you. No. Hey. <laughs> now, um, <coughs> speaking about um, that whole project, yeah. um, where, 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 people always ask the question, where do you get all the money to do all this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think uh, it's, because it's it, weird it, for it's, me. It's, it's one of those things that yeah. even Chameleon can't do. Yeah. Even yeah. Bebe Cole can't do. Yeah. Okay, they can do, but they yeah. don't do. Yes. You know? But it takes a lot of guts 
and of course yeah. financial muscle yes. to be able to do this on your own. Yeah. You yeah. don't have someone funding you and all those things. Yeah. I think for me, it's, uh, it's weird when people say that because one, I'm performing every weekend. Mm. Uh, minus that, they'll see me, you know, even the artists you mentioned, like mm. they'll see me on, you know, uh, Tusker Twendekazi. Mm. Okay, or they'll see Radio and Weasel on Tusker Twendekazi. Mm. Those guys will go and buy three new Range Rovers. Mm. They'll see me on Tusker Twendekazi. They'll be like, your money is from somewhere. If I buy anything. Mm. Chameleon, they'll see him on Coke Studio. You know, they'll he know. He buys a new car. He buys a new car. When you buy a new car. Apartments. When I buy a new car, it's from somewhere. Mm. Same shows, and I did two years in a row there. When they see me at Jipange, same thing. When they see me, uh, you know, with my new brand ambassadorships for Hennessy, mm. you know, or a brewery. We, we've seen you at Hip Hop at 50 yes. last year. For that was Hennessy. Yeah. We saw you here at these awards. Uh -huh. uh, what, what's, what's Grammy? Yeah, the, the Grammys. There's uh, these ones that were in Rwanda. Or oh, oh, the, the Kendrick, the, the Bal. Oh, first of all, uh, the Bal. There's Bal. We saw you yes, at Bal. Bal. There. And then, then they there's... did Kendrick, uh, Global Citizen. Yes. Yeah. So they'll see me there. Uh, uh, but yeah. You know. but, 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 but how does it feel like going mm -hmm. now like you were at mm -hmm. Hip Hop at 50 last year? Yes. You, I and saw you, one in the audience, then I saw you rubbing shoulders with these guys. Yes, yes. Drake, who, uh -huh, what? Uh -huh. How does it feel? What, what, what? I mean... You know, I'm also a celeb. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now uh, you are here. I mean, no, it, it, it feels good, but also um, I feel like for me, it's just kicking open a door. Mm. There's some kid who's coming. Mm. There's a kid who's coming right behind us mm. who is going to be able to get through those doors and do something with them. I'm at the point in my career where I believed in my country so much I stayed here. Mm. When I could have lived anywhere in the world, mm. I could have gone anywhere got signed to probably any label. I did get signed to the two biggest labels while I'm in Kampala because I felt like we had to build the industry up from here mm. before. You know, I mean, concepts, simple concepts like doing an album launch. Mm. People are telling us, it's crazy, it's crazy. We did one, it packs up as clear cut. Mm. Then people start doing album launches as concerts. Mm. You know, but it's just because our launch, which was supposed to be a press event, became a concert. Yeah. So now we, we, we changed the narrative of Ugandan music. Mm. So I believed that doing those things would build the industry for, to a point where I could also benefit. Unfortunately, it mm. might be a bit late for me, but I believe someone's coming, mm. you know, that's going to be able to get through those doors. So for me, mm. it feels like really just my duty. Mm. You know, I said it at the beginning of the year. I was like, I have, yes, I have the connections. Mm. Yes, I know the people. Yes, they regard me as, mm. you know, the best rapper who's ever come out of East Africa. Mm. You know, um, no matter what we say here, mm. <laughs> you know, um, that, that will never go away. But... For me, it still just feels like duty. I have this, because I have those connections. Mm. Sometimes I need to go and help out the little guy. Mm. I need to go and make a, a doorway, be like, yes, mm. among you, 100 Nigerians, boom, Uganda's in the building. Mm. Let the cameras turn, you know what I mean? Mm. Capture that Uganda's in the building. Um, and uh, I feel like I, I want them to remember us, mm. you know? Remember we're here. Remember we have some, we have some dope kids who are mm. on the way here. Um, last year, mm -hmm. you, did a, you did a show. Mm -hmm. At Sheraton, yeah, and it sold out. Uh -huh. um, to many people, it came as a surprise. Yeah, yeah, because it's yeah. been so many years. Yeah. I think you, the last show you did was before COVID. Yeah, the the one we had at uh, at uh, Garden City Rooftop, yes, right? Yes, and then yeah, something. Yeah. Ah, but we ate that day. Ah, yeah, yeah, you? yeah. You're welcome. We ate, we drank. That was. I was like, party. yeah, Good. this is a. Even Bebe Cool jumped on stage. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's crazy. Um, how have you been able to, 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 to stay here after all these years, especially with the genre you're doing? Mm -hmm. We've had so many hip hop, or okay, everything is hip hop. Yeah. Just the branches, Luga Flow, and what uh, and what. Uh -huh, uh -huh. People have come and gone. Yeah. Uh, people outside Uganda, they still claim the, the, to be the biggest musicians uh -huh. others are still inside uganda but they are not on the scene yes. they still claim ah the culture the this and this yeah. but you've been here yeah for starters you you came in as a for um a foreign musician yes a foreign body. Uh -huh, uh -huh. because everybody could not really relate navio with yes. uganda yes so you came in as a foreign musician yeah. some of the guys you came with yeah. moved away yeah others are still trying to make it big uh -huh. you know crossing from just the hip hop and what uh -huh. to 
making it big mainstream. mainstream. That you know, when we are speaking, we, we say, Chameleon, Bebe Cool, yeah. Radio Nuizo, Navio. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's not simple. Yes. Yes? Yeah. Uh, then you do a show, you sell out. Yeah. Then you're still here. In 2024. Yes. When my first launch was in 2000. Yes. <laughs> how, 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 how have you been able to survive? And now you're doing an, a, 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 what they call it? Yeah. An album. Yeah. And you're releasing 11 yeah. songs. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, one, I actually, I have a real love for what I'm doing. Uh. So when you have a love for what you're doing and your hobby kind of pay you, uh. it's a dream situation for me. Uh. Um, I'm able to do what I love at the same time as uh, effect change mm. at the same time as be a role model mm. for kids um, of course the role model bit is a bit like you know it, it, it may bring fear to you a little bit mm. but I'm able to impact change um, so for me uh, I'm in a dream space mm. so it's easy for me um, I'd say staying motivated also I, I would have probably dropped out a long time ago but every time we get a new kid see I'm very uh, I used to be a sports guy, so I'm mm. very competitive. Mm. Rugby, basketball, you know, hockey, mm. athletics. I still have records in school, you know what I mean, for sports. And, mm. and my family members do too. So we're very big in sports. And then you have the whole Blick side as well. Mm. And, you know, motocross. And they're, they're very big in sports as well, rugby and everything. So every, time you, see, every time you see a young artist coming, in a, yeah, the I spirit want, of learn. competition. No, one mm. is the spirit of love. So I'm always learning from the new artists who I'm mm. cool with. Mm. But... Because they feel like, you know, we have this thing in Uganda of Anya seeing. Mm. There can only be one. One Kabaka, one king. Mm. So you always have the media will always push someone to, aha, mm. top of this guy. Then you'll find suddenly money will fall on you from somewhere. Mm. So they, this gets in people's heads. So with every generation, they always want to pair me up with someone. Mm. So what this has done eventually it's, it actually elongates my time here, mm. you know, because one, I have to keep proving myself. Yeah. But two, you're keeping me in newspapers I have no business being in. So, for example, I come into the industry and Baba Luku comes. Mm. We have a thing, mm. you know, lyrical, who's lyrical, who's Luka Fulo, why are you doing English? So that happens. Mm. Cool. He goes. Next up, you have a GNL come in the industry, someone mm. who I help into the industry who hates me saying that, I'm not sure why. But, you know, we help each, each other, let me put it like that. Mm. You know, in the industry, I'm making a comeback after school. They pit us against each other. Mm. He falls for it. Instead of us building together, we go at it. Mm. Now he goes doing Cheo or whatever he does. Mm. Next guy comes, Atlas. Atlas, or yeah. Wah, 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 wah. That one also, there's a, you know, a physical element to it. I don't know, that gang stuff. Yeah, I'm in Uganda, but you know what I mean? We, we, we do what, I, what we do. Mm. You know, there's a reason we top, top. most of our gold medals are for boxing. Mm. So, you know, we don't, <laughs> we don't mind it, especially in my tribe. Yeah. So, um, then you have afterwards, who was it? You know, names, mm. names, names, all mm. the way up to like a gravity, for example, yeah. last year. So, they're like, it's almost like my fans also want it. Mm. You know? So, 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 so my fans get reawoken. Yeah. Fans who would be in their offices just trying to feed their kids mm. also get reawoken. Mm. Eh, who said what about Navio? Mm. Ah, ah, that's, that's our guy. You know, so you have two teams going up against each other. But one, they keep my name, they're keeping my name in the media mm. just by mentioning me. And two, you're going up against someone who, like I have a guy who dropped my name the other, the other day. He has like 500 followers on a platform. You know, and it's like, have a million followers and I was still kind enough to mention him you know so sometimes I also want to help them because I see what they're doing right yeah. it's like hey you want a bit of Kavuyo I'm like ah oh, damn even though my fans would be like what are you doing I'll mm. be like ah but this guy he also thinks he's cool you know because I know that that's the only way that they may be yeah. going to get some recognition yeah, yeah, yeah. unfortunately I think I only got him another 50 followers mm which means I also failed, you know. Um, so I don't believe in the beef thing, but I do believe that sometimes you just end up making someone more yeah. relevant, which is a problem. So which is why Kasuku is still here also. Oh. It's terrible. <laughs> I'm going through the same thing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so how does it feel? Uh, just two last questions. How does it feel every time you're um, 
especially those people that you know are beefing you and what yeah. there had been a picture that story is painted Mwana wa mugaga. Iboba ina sente wa abwe. You know? Yeah. How does it feel every time you hear that? I think do you feel do, do, do you at some point feel like man I'm working so hard I'm putting in my all <laughs> and these people feel like no yeah. because I'm I'm talking to a very specific you know with hip hop also. They know my exact story because mm. in my songs with with hip hop you speak about yourself. Mm. It's not like commercial songs where I'm saying I will always love you. Ah. <laughs> A lot of times, most of ninety percent of mm. ours is talking about our, our you tell your story. experience. So my fans really know me. Um, so uh, I never feel offended by it. One because also I've been a refugee before. Mm. I've been a refugee. Have you been a refugee before? Unfortunately, I've I've been in the trenches before. We you know we've had my father pass away when my mother was jobless. Mm. These are not things that I need to put out there to show. Well, ma, yeah, by the way, I also struggled. You know, I had a dictator trying to kill my father. That's, I don't need to, I don't need to. Mm. I had the Amin who wanted I'm, to kill your dad. A, a few, a few dictators, not just one. Mm. So, so um, I mean, because he was a guy who used to stand up for the people. Mm. So you're going to get in trouble doing that, you know. So um, you went to exile. Yes, yes, but see, okay. I don't, we don't even need to talk about it because I don't want to. I don't need to talk about my struggles. Yeah. To prove that I'm a good rapper, mm. you understand? Yeah. And that's been part of my longevity, is I don't, I, I don't need to use anything mm. to to go you, at you, it. You, you want bring, your art to bring, speak for uh -huh, you. Bring my music, bring you as a person to speak for me. Mm. Someone says something about me, I'll usually holler them directly. Mm. I'll be like, Hey, Steve Jean, do we have a problem? Kasuku, do we have a problem? Do we, is there an issue, like a real issue? He's, ah, no, no, showbiz, showbiz, got it. Yeah. We are good. Go about, your, go about your business. But for me, it's all about what I can bring to the table, you know, as a human being. Mm. So I don't get offended. It's like someone saying, ah, man, <laughs> you're just a rich guy. Why would I want to tell you my stories of struggle mm. about what my family went through, about what my mother went through, what my father went through, you know? We've, been, we've lived, had to live in four countries. You know what I mean? Because of the struggle we've been through. I don't need to tell you any of that. Because mm. it's none of your business. I'm a musician. Mm. Watch my music. You know? <laughs> that's, that's how I feel about it. But also, ha. if someone says, Man, you, Kasuku, you, you, your video is the, the most highly rated video. And you're getting you're highly rated videos and you're getting money. Facts. Oh, Kasuku, you're one of the most recognizable faces. Mm. Just because you, you have your funny ways. Facts. Mm. I'm like, what are my funny ways? Good publicity, giving the people what they want, and making you watch. Mm. That's what Kasuku does. That's why you're watching. That's why people watch you. So, you know, when people say, ah, man, you made it here because you're rich, I'm like, yeah, but I'm on all the shows. You know, I've done three times more endorsement deals than your biggest artist out here. So you can either play hard, or you can play smart, mm. or you can play hard and smart. You know, work hard, work <laughs> smart, or work hard and smart. That's yeah. what I do. I didn't know about Nova Navamo Charong and Bonavon over Madiza. Those people, and I think that's where we all get it wrong most yeah, times. Yeah. I've seen, yeah, uh, I know I, uh, quite a few people, yeah. and most times I've been siding with those people. Yeah? I, okay, yes. I prefer to side with what people call rich. Yes. Not yeah. because I don't like <laughs> what people call poor, but it's just that yeah. we in Uganda we got to a point where you have everything at your disposal yeah you don't use it but you're going to blame navio yes because maybe navio's brother is rich yeah yeah true, so you say true. i'm gonna wear innocent i'm innocent e -e. Yeah. then you ask yourself how did hennessy sign navio <laughs> yeah <laughs> because because yes. the family does not know hennessy yes so how did hennessy and, sign and on navio? the other side they're signing lebron james yes and on the other side they're signing nas yes these are people who have i have no influence over over you know, you know yeah. so um, most times, uh, and Eddie said usually tells people, if you're a musician, yeah. sing, yeah. the rest will fall in place. Yeah. If you are an artist, draw, paint. Uh -huh. If you're a dancer, dance, uh -huh. because that is what people know you for. Yes. The rest is background noise. Whether if you're, you're, if you're a talker, yeah, talk, talk and talk, talk and talk. Yes, yes. exactly. <laughs> so, um, but of course, um, Navio comes from Masaka, by the way. Uh -huh. Most people don't know. But Namasaka or no mana one way. Which which exact village? Uh, they are there within. 
Oh, hey. but have you been there? Yes, I even have trees there. Yeah, they told me yes. you have a, you planted trees that yes, size. Yeah. Don't but mind. you don't you know the village. It's very dangerous for me to tell people my old business. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, if a fire might start, it's, <laughs> and, it's very dangerous. No, but if a fire starts, they come and take it out. They say, no. Navios trees. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Over there. Uh -huh. <laughs> Save them. But <laughs> Save Navios trees. For who? For who? <laughs> Themselves? Hey. No, let us let's keep For the environment, so that they can still get yes. rain. Yes. You know? Don't forget to call Kasuko on 0777-594-445. <laughs> Is ordering your stock from China, Turkey and Dubai stressing you so much? Is it taking you months and months for you to get your stock? Just one, two, three and trade like a boss you are. One, talk to Iran Global Logistics on 0740-152-331. Two, let us know whether it's sourcing or sending money to a supplier that you would want. Three, enjoy our unmatched customer service. Trade like a boss with Ryan Global Logistics. Find us at Nabugabo Street, BBC Building, Room N412. Call us on plus 256-740-152-331 or plus 86-180-723-93515 or plus 86-132-502-1568. Eight five, or visit our website on www.randglobalogistics.biz. Rand Global Air Express Cargo. We move anything anywhere. Now, as we wind up, <laughs> um, I want to ask you: yeah. Is um, music in Uganda yeah. still viable? Do, do, Absolutely. Do, do, huh? Absolutely. Once we can get our royalties from radio, mm. and once we can get these corporates to treat us like they're treating the rest of the artists on the continent and in the world, we're okay. Mm. You know, I think we've talked about it before. Why should we be getting 5 million to perform in 2010 mm. and 2024 we're getting 5 million to perform? Mm. It, it doesn't make sense. Mm. We're the only artists whose value has dropped, has dropped by over 80%. How is that? Mm. Nigeria, the same P-square that used to perform with us for their 5,000, mm. you know, is now getting 100,000 to perform. Oh. Of course, there's a demand for them, mm. but of course the demand is created by what is already happening in their country. Mm. They were not empowered until Glossel gave them a $1.5 million deal. Over here, what can, we, what can we get our guys for? What can we get Chameleon for? Then someone calls, hey, me, I know Chameleon. I can get him at this price. I can get him at that price. Why? Mm. He's a legend. You have it on the budget. Mm. I've been in so many meetings, you know, where corporates have been in so many meetings where they say, Oh, our marketing budget is $5 million. As Ugandan corporates, they think that, oh, they're doing them a favor by saying, ha, we only used half a million of your budget. Marketing budget is aside from shareholders. It is aside from what we need to make the company run. It is an extra, utilize the damn thing. Pay the artists what they're worth. The effect that they're giving you, you put an artist on a billboard, mm. I'm going to sell you X amount of your mm. product. Mm. Yeah, and minus that, just my, just me, the recognizability of me mm. makes your product more relevant. Mm. Just putting that product in front of my face mm. makes you relevant to the amount of maybe a million dollars a month. So you can't spare half a million dollars for and an artist on a brand artist. ambassador mm. when your whole budget for marketing mm. might be five million. But then the question is, is the demand for the artists there? Because oh that's goodness. also a question. Like you've said, P-square. They, at, they were at 5k yes now they can command 100k yes and the reason you gave was the demand so also do we have in, in their own country yes in there today here in uganda uh -huh. um minus a few artists do we have do we really have musicians that can that can when you give this person i'm the you're the brand ambassador they are going to drive you those sales they are going to drive you that publicity yeah and they are going to stay normal think about it like this if you have uh, a, a TV, just content on a TV, mm. yeah. As someone coming to do an ad on a on a TV show mm. will pay, let's say, two hundred million a month, mm. yeah, to put ads on a TV show or mm. hundred, even a hundred million to put ads on a TV show. Mm. Just ads for thirty seconds, mm. but they'll spend that whole thing talking to radio or and weasel. Mm. They'll spend the whole hour talking to us 
So it's our faces that sell the show. Mm. How are we not worth the same 100 million? Mm. For example, Navio has come on Kasuko Live. So in, in real time, he has um, 20k people watching. Uh -huh. So if 20k people are watching, they are watching because they want to see yes. Navio and what Navio is saying. Yeah. So if you're willing to put adverts on Kasuko Live uh -huh. worth 75 million, uh -huh. then why don't you pay Navio 200 million? Because it's the reason people are watching. Ah, yes. I get it. Yes. That's so, a, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, they, they talk about it as, 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 or as artists getting free time. I'm like, no. Nah. The demand is there for a reason. Mm. We've put in the work that gets us to the level where we can walk in those doors, mm. where we can get that TV time, ETC. Mm. So you got to pay an artist what they're worth mm. as a brand. So Navio yeah. believes music in Uganda, there's still money. It's yeah. still worth it for the musicians. It is, it, it is. It is only that people have refused to move. Yeah. And they need to move. Absolutely. Yeah, I also think... Do, do, now, do you think copyright, copyright enforcement plays a part? No. Because uh, if, if you copy Paraso's song mm. and he walks up to you in the street and says, don't, don't release that song, you're, you're probably not going to release it. Mm. It's quite easy. Or walks up with a policeman mm. and says, "This is the one who's copying my song." Mm. You go, you, you go and walk inside for three months, four mm. months. Our issue for me, the financial issue, is based on royalties, and we confuse copyright and royalties as the same issue. We need to also separate it. Copyright is you copying my music. Mm. So even if I'm a distributor and I copy it on a CD, that's part of that. Mm. So it's free distribution, which mm. the artists, some, a lot of the artists, when we did it the first time. We are, we're trying to work with IGP, ETC. This is like over 10 years ago. Had representatives there from Swangs, Chameleon, me. So we tried to work on it mm. as a copyright issue. When we were about to enforce, they said, oh, but we need these guys who are selling CDs mm. to move out. I remember music. that meeting sat at the National Theatre. Which is, for me, Everybody okay. was saying, no, no, no. Then Bebe Kool came and said, Ekatinze bigo wale wande gea. Mokirize zanga ino zisara. That was the end of the story. Yeah. So, uh, imagine. And you know what? The people can still distribute, but they just have to be monitored. Mm. So he just said, you let, let people do my thing. Yes. Oh, my friend, baby. It's the second a time. A packed national theater. Yeah. I remember that, yeah. That meeting, Chameleon came. Yeah. And everybody, that was the end of the meeting. Yeah. Because I, I don't know what argument he was raising at the time, yeah. but he was against. Because I, I understand Bigo was his... Bigo, why is his cousin or yeah. something? It's okay, and at the but time, he was one of the biggest, you know? Yeah, of course. But why can't people be registered? You are registered distributor. Therefore, we can monitor what's going out. Therefore, we can make a percentage mm. on what you're paying as taxes and pay that back to the artist. Mm. That's what should have happened. Instead of closing them Bebe out. making that comment. Bebe uh, getting on his knees in front of the president instead of telling the president the issues we needed. Mm. Bebe saying his comment about, oh, Navio, you, last, I didn't handle it on TV, but he said a comment on TV saying, oh, Navio, you've made it here using your own money. I'm like, whose money does he want me to use? Museveni, taxpayers, like other artists do. No, bro. Like he, he says some things which can be showbiz, but in his position, mm. that it just has to stop. We need to say things that are a bit more well thought out. So, mm. baby, give me a call. We can chat about it. Mm. Um, but, like, we need to, like, there have been so many mistakes made mm. by guys who came before me. Mm. And we cannot make the same mistakes. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, so, there comes a point where we need to draw the line. Um, mm. So, yeah, why, why not monitor what they're doing? Mm. Um, there's nothing wrong with being a distributor. Distributor, you're not some sneaky guy moving in the street. Mm. You proudly put up your little duka, yeah. you're registered to yeah. the music distributors, and then they monitor themselves. Yeah. If someone opens up next to you, have you paid, where's your stick? Have you paid your taxes mm. to the distributor, whatever? And then that money goes back to the artist. Simple. Simple. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, so, 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 so two things I've got to know, the difference between copyright and loyalty. Yes, royalties Navi is collecting off radio and TV. Players, yes, those yes, spins, yes. clubs, which is also bars, important. what? Yeah, which is and, important. And and, and the, there are ways around that. People always pay off agents who've come. Yeah. So now you end up at the end of the day with a you know a UPRS or mm. whoever's collecting saying, we've only collected sixty thousand dollars. I'm yeah. like, what? This is a billion dollar industry. You know, a hundred yeah. stations, a hundred stations. They collect. They must collect over over $4 million in South Africa. Mm. And they have maybe 
a fourth of our stations. Mm. So how does that make sense? You know? mm. So he, he believes with copyright, like he has said, Palaso as Oroko Sangako Street. Naho Gambo, Ruimba, Ruje, Yetari, Chomenda, Jiko, Chengomi, Obana, Jane, copyright police. Uh -huh. So that is really, you know, but the, lawyer, the, the royalties then need to move. Then also, there is something you talked about. Mm. <laughs> you said Bebe Cole needs to stop making showbiz statements. Yeah. And begins making constructive. For the future of the people in the mm. industry. Does that, uh, there are people who are meeting people in government. Uh -huh. Do you think it's productive? From what know, you've as heard. As, as, the soon as, as soon as you go down on your knees. I, I don't want to. I, I don't want to know about it. I don't want to know about it. You know what I mean? Because you're there representing something bigger than yourself. You can't be there just to, oh, 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 oh. There comes a point where, of course, you're thinking about your own family, ETC. Mm. But there comes a point where it's in your best interest to think about the whole. The whole industry. Yeah. I could have done countless projects for myself. I could have been in politics. I've been offered things mm. that I could have done just for myself. But that wouldn't be the best thing for the greater good. Um, so I think there comes a point where we just need to. So you believe these people who are talking to people in government, they are chasing after Biawe, their own? Uh, yeah, some of them, definitely. Uh, mm. there, are, there are some who are definitely chasing for the rest of us, but it makes it very difficult mm. when you've just gone in and given what we should do, and then someone else comes in and says, oh, I think if you just pay, pay the top 10 artists this much, and mm. we'll be okay. Mm. Silence the big ones and you're okay. Mm. So what happens to the rest? Yeah. So you think about only yourselves? Yeah. Not the bring out one. Do you know how many sons and daughters of artists are going to be artists? What are you setting up for the future of them? Mm. You know. And you don't like people kneeling down. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm from Fumbe. Mm. We're the only clan that's not allowed to actually Fukamida. Mm. We're not supposed to prostrate ourselves. Fumbe clan and I, I don't hey, know. Fumbe clan does not we kneel show, before the Kabaka. We show, we show shield and spear. Mm. We can choose to. Mm. We, me, I, me, I would, I will bow. Um, we can choose to, um, but traditionally it's not done. So by the time, by the time the people of the Kabaka are telling me, which other man am I kneeling down to? I, do, I don't think, you know, uh, yeah. You I, can I, only my, kneel down for the Kabaka. My father in heaven would be like, hey, who are you kneeling down for? You kneeling down for another man? <laughs> you know, so it's just, that's a personal thing. Don't worry about me. Mm. You guys do your thing. But, um, yeah, I can, pros I mean, I can bow to the Kawaka, no problem, but that's about it. Mm. He's the only one. Ah, this has been really a, a very insightful interview. I didn't know we could, yeah. you know, <laughs> how about this, this kind of, Because Navio, you really, you really talk. Yes. You just true. come, promote your music and walk away. Yes. So I didn't know you, you, you know the rest of the things that are going yes, on. Yes. Yeah. But Navio right, feels right. like... But uh, when, I, when you see me take the bling bling off, uh, I just want to talk now, real serious. Eh? Yes. <laughs> but now we've come to the end of the show. Yes. <laughs> I was just yeah. warming up. Uh, yeah. but, 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 but they are very insightful ideas you're having. I think um, copyright and loyalties, we need to revisit that from your submission. Uh -huh. They are two different things. And then also the fact that we have to pull for all of us, yeah. not just a few, yeah. also makes a lot of sense. Anyway, um, that's like what's up for today. Uh -huh. It's been a lot of English. I'm even sweating. Yeah, it's no, not. Son, I'm going to sound. There's something you have not noticed. Yeah, I wanted Luganda, but <laughs> there's something you have the the you not noticed in yeah. this interview. Have you seen people behind here who are putting on swimsuits? Yeah, they yes. are behind here. Yes, others just going. So yes been seeing things and I'm like, wow. Yes. Man. You so, guys enjoy yourselves when you come this end. He, seen, he said he's seen me here four times. Yes. Which means he's also been here <laughs> some good times. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is the Kabira Country Club. I want to come and I want to spend the time Please. here in those penthouses. I really yes. didn't know, yeah, no, you know they do this. Bring the family. What? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice family. I think day, I should come here for Easter. Uh -huh. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm, going to look, I'm going to look for Dr. Sudil. Baby's birthdays. You get a more corner, I get a room here. Wife's birthdays. So something I can do. Yeah. You, why don't you pay? Paying is not in my DNA. Yeah. You. you know that. <laughs> what color are you? Luseke. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's my thing. So we don't mm. usually pay. Navio has um, his album, yes. the Navio X Project. Yes. 
Uh, it's on uh, Spotify. Yes. It's on iTunes. Uh, it's on uh, which other platform? Uh, all of them, actually. Mm. Every single platform. You can YouTube. If you some people like listening to albums on YouTube as well. Mm, mm. And of course, we dropped a video. Uh, the one we did with the Wasoga and Ginger. Mm. We dropped that video. It's called Tiabu Tiabu. Mm. So just to give people a visual as well, mm. uh, we dropped that video out. Uh, so all of those links are on my online. So yeah, Navio X Project, the album's out now. Mm. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting. I know it's not the usual hit maker's noise, yeah. but uh, sometimes you have to do something for the yeah, people, the for culture. The, yeah. You know, we need to bring the ancestors back and show respect. So mm. yeah. Well. Yes, sir. Thanks for coming around. No doubt. It's always a pleasure. Nice to be here I in your place. It's very <laughs> nice. I like what you've done with the place. <laughs> yes, <please. laughs> Until next time, we out.